Little ain't double letter. Um, we have uh, Roll at Home versus Roll at Work. Somewhat of an interesting story in the Times what? about, you know, you have the office joker, the mother hen. Oh, yes, yes, yes. The yes. rebel, gossip guy, peacekeeper. <laughs> uh, study by the University of California, Berkeley says uh, empty nest equals a better marriage. Quality time versus quantity time. Well, so what does that mean? You should get rid of your kids about the time they're five? No. Uh, send them out in the world when they're four. Yeah. Here you are. Here's your lunch. That's not a melodramatic overreaction to the story or anything. <laughs> Bye now. Bye. Go out in the world. You drop your I would think that you guys would find that story encouraging. So once your kids are of the age where they leave the house, it means that marriages get stronger. Well, I, I would have to say that my marriage is always <laughs> uh, Look at this. Unless like my parents. And, and she is... Andy Parks has been married for 30 odd years, but he and his wife have never been on the same schedule. So That's that works, true. So that works That's very well. Uh, the color for 2009? Black. Yellow. Yellow what? will be the most popular color for 2009. Fashion experts oh. say why, why yellow. Is yellow is not my color. By the way, I will not be have in you fashion noticed how, uh, yellow. who went to Bill Richards and said, hey, dude, if you want this job, you better shave your face. Did you hear well, uh, Obama it. joking about it? Yeah. It was pretty funny. What did he say? He said he kind of liked that uh, rough and tumble look, but... Uh, yeah, looked like the Frito Bandito. Oprah in town for the whole week. Uh, oh, the broadcast week. Stay uh, my live from the uh, inaugural... Uh, yeah. Should Expect screaming women from end of the oh city to end of the city. Oh, and the other thing, no kids. Did you see the article? What? The Post says that they're pressuring people not to bring their kids. There will be no strollers. There will be no... Woohoo! Oh, man, that's, <laughs> yes. a, that's, that's a, a big terrible deal. Line. Wait a minute, hang on. They're doing everything they can to tell people, hey, don't bring the kids. All right, is that a smart move? Parents should think long and hard about bringing a small child to an event with a million people. Who the hell is saying that? Large back... This, um... Uh, now, this is another. This is the Joint Congressional Committee on Inaugural Ceremonies. So we have at least two organizations saying, don't bring the kids. Um, That's a good story. All the, all the carriers, any type of, of a kid carrier is banned that day. There, there is a certain, I think, um, obvious pragmatism to it. But you're also telling a lot of people, this is a major historical event. Kids are not allowed. I don't like that. I mean, okay, well, that's good. That's what makes it a good. I mean, it, if you've got two nations like Pakistan and India, ready, to, you know, quite possibly teeter tottering, yeah, poised for war. What do you do? You know, to first make of things all, right. I think, in my view, the one thing we should clearly do is side with India. Tell and tell Pakistan that unless they, as George Bush used to say, either bring these enemies to justice or bring justice to these enemies, we'll do it for them. Okay. All right, we got enough to go with. Let's let's do that. <clears throat> let's do that at 5:40. 6:40. Let's do the uh, the stroller thing, mm -hmm. and then 7:40. Uh, I don't have any you know favorite at 7:40. Story from a couple of days ago about the DC hotels rescinding their confirmations and yeah. charging more also might be a good talker at some point. I don't know if it's too old today, but I love that story. Oh, you mean putting it out there the to see? Well, yeah, the hotels can confirm a room eight months ago and then say, oh, sorry, it's going to be ten times more expensive now. They can't do that. They can do that. I know they they can, but they shouldn't. Oh, it's, oh and it's a political, I mean, it's a yeah. public relations What, what are you going to do, not come? They'll yeah. sell the, they'll sell yeah, the I mean, room in a nanosecond. Right. This is an it's opportunity just bad for business, them to cash though. in. It's such bad business. Well, why is it bad business? It's good business. I don't know. If I were a customer who had had a room booked... Well, honestly, yeah. you're, you're right about one thing. Where else are you going to go for the Let's say... Well, wait a minute, Fred. If you are a regular customer, let's say of Marriott, mm -hmm. a regular business customer, aren't you inclined to say, well, that's fine, that's fine, I'll go ahead and I'll pay it, or I'll give up the room, but you'll never see me again? Mm -hmm. Right now, 39 at Reagan National. We're headed to 52. WMAL News Time 517. Grandy and Andy on the news continues. Commercial free. Well, kids are great, but they're not great for inaugurations. If you're planning a trip to the January 20th inaugural ceremony of President elect Barack Obama, be warned strollers and backpacks are not allowed. And if that wasn't a clear enough message for you parents, organizers have made it clear on the official inauguration website. There are no child care facilities provided to attendees, and extra consideration should be taken by those planning to bring children. Doesn't it bother you just a little bit? I understand the crowd control. I understand the pragmatism. I understand the problem of people with strollers. Okay, get all that. But this is an inauguration of a president of the United States. It is a historical event. Right. And to make this 
patently and publicly kid unfriendly, I think is a stupid public right. relations okay. move. There are a couple of moves that come into mind here. One is ultimately security. You know, strollers can house weapons. Of course. Right? The second thing is this huge crowds, small kids. Small kids not in strollers. You know, if huge crowds move suddenly, yep. small kids get trampled. Yeah, okay. Right? Uh, granted, I mean, you, your logic is compelling and irrefutable. But here's the other side. They're saying we're going to make it difficult enough so that you may not want to come, and I think that's the wrong message, particularly from this president that made a, such a big deal out of being inclusive and bringing change to Washington. I would think he would want a capital city that was more open and accessible. Security know. considerations to the contrary notwithstanding. 37 degrees, average temperature that time well, of year. They don't have coats. Right. Don't have a lot of rain, a lot of rain, a <laughs> lot of snow. Does an inauguration, <laughs> let me ask you this, yeah. would an inauguration mean anything to a seven-year-old African-American kid who got a chance to actually see it? Um, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I yes, think. yes, yes. I mean, there's there's no uh, yeah, dispute about I, I that, okay? okay? They're essentially saying to that parent, don't even think about it. Well, That's bad. That's wrong. WML News Time 520. Oh, Obama Day. Oh, Obama, Obama Day. Day. In a small central Alabama county who's mainly black. Yay!